gentlemen, please welcome President and CEO of Hyundai Motor America, John Kraftjack. Good morning, everyone. And a special hello to those of you who were with us last night at the Hotel Figueroa. Didn't Jeff Bridges and T-Bone Burnett put on a great show? That was something, huh? So welcome officially to day two of our activities here at our home auto show in beautiful Los Angeles. And to what is the start of what we think will be a pretty amazing auto show season. Not just for Hyundai, but for the entire industry. Now first, allow me to introduce some of the people driving our success at Hyundai. From our R&D center in Namyang, our vice chairman of R&D, our global R&D chief, Dr. H.S. Lee. Welcome, Dr. Lee. And with Dr. Lee is the president and CEO of Hyundai Motor Company, Mr. Steve S. Young. Also with us today is our Executive Vice President of Sales, Mr. Dave Zakowski, and our Hyundai Dealer Council. Thanks, guys. Finally, we're pleased to welcome some special guests from Montgomery, Alabama, home of our U.S. manufacturing plant, including Mayor Todd Strange. So we've got a great new product we want to share with you this morning. But before that, I'd like to put into context the growth we've had this year at Hyundai. I can officially say now it's been record-breaking growth, as this week we surpassed our 2007 sales volume record of 467,009 units. We'll exceed the half million mark sometime in mid-December. Now that's great news, and one thing we're really proud of is the manner in which we've achieved these sales. In the midst of what has been really a, a pretty soft auto market this year, with about half of industry growth coming from increased fleet sales, we bucked the trend by growing our retail volume and significantly reducing our fleet sales. In fact, if you look at the top six brands in the US, we've been by far the fastest growing brand at retail, with a remarkable 63% increase in retail market share since 2008. Now, during this period, we've reduced our incentive spending 36% more than any of our competitors. And our growth has come from great new products, Sonata, Tucson, Genesis, products that have driven our consideration levels from 7% back in 2000 to 33% right now. And that's right, one third of all American car buyers right now have a Hyundai on their shopping list. It's pretty good. At the same time we've been making this progress in our brand strength and retail sales pace, we've been hard at work with our dealer partners retooling our network. We have customer service and facility upgrade programs going on right now across the country. And in fact, we just got some great news from J.D. Power & Associates. In their just published sales satisfaction index, Hyundai was the number one Asian brand and the number one most improved brand in the entire industry. Now one marquee effort for us in this area is what we're planning for the all-new Equus, which hits showrooms in just a few weeks. From our unique, your time, your place vehicle demonstration system to our industry-first, five-year, 60,000-mile, at-your-service, no-cost maintenance program with complimentary valet pickup and drop-off, the Equus retail and ownership experience, we think, will set a new benchmark in the industry. Now, I know many of you guys have heard about our unique owner's manual on an iPad approach. We thought we'd share that with you. Here's a brief look at what that's gonna look like. Here's here, I want to spend just a minute talking about Sonata. You know, it was just last year, just last year at this show right here that we introduced this car to America. 
And at that time, we'd hoped for maybe 150 to 175,000 sales for this car. As it turns out, we're going to finish the year over 200,000 sales. Now let me put that in context for you. Last November, the midsize segment looked like this from a retail share perspective. Camry led the way with a 26% retail market share, followed by Accord with 20, Altima with 14, Fusion in Malibu with 11, and Sonata in a distant sixth place with about 5% retail share. Now fast forward to this November, and it's a completely different world. So far, Sonata's retail share is up 200%, capturing 16% of the segment just behind Accord and Camry. We think that's a pretty remarkable achievement, and it illustrates the appeal to mid-sized buyers of this combination of game-changing fluidic sculpture and 35 miles per gallon fuel economy rating. It's a pretty good combo. And the Sonata Turbo, it's just out, just launched. It's already capturing about 30% of our website builds, and the Sonata Hybrid is just around the corner with production starting later this year. Now, we took a chance in launching an all-new mid-sized car without a V6 engine, but so far, it looks like that strategy is really paying off for us. Now, you guys know, we've spoken a lot about fuel economy over the last few years at Hyundai, and I want you to understand it really is our desire to set the trajectory for fuel economy improvement in the industry. In 2008, we committed to be the first to 35 MPG, and this summer, we announced our latest objective to achieve at least 50 MPG CAFE by 2025. Later in the year, EPA, CARB, and NHTSA, working together, jointly announced their desire to target 2025 CAFE levels somewhere in the 47 to 62 mile per gallon range, right? But the question we all face in the industry is, what is the path to those targets? They're tough targets. Some have stated the way there is with a broader application of plug-in hybrid and EV technologies, cars like the Volt or the Leaf. But our own sense is that given the cost and the infrastructure issues, they'll still compose a relatively small share of the product mix in 2025. So while cars like the Leaf and the Volt are generating a lot of headlines, there are at least two other cars that, while still relatively vo low volume, we think show a more likely path to much higher fuel economy. And those two cars? The Ford Fiesta SE with the super fuel economy package and the Chevrolet Cruze Eco with manual transmission. Both of them achieve magical 40 mpg highway fuel economy levels and about 44 mpg combined on that cafe scale. So at Hyundai, we see a lot to like in the Fiesta SE super fuel economy model and the Chevrolet Cruze Eco with manual transmission. They are, in a way, a proof of concept for Hyundai's overall fuel economy strategy. But there's still a problem of cost. Asking folks to pay two to $3,000 more than base models for fuel economy packages, that's just not Hyundai's way of doing business. As we've done before with industry-leading positions in standard technologies such as side airbags, electronic stability control, even satellite radio, our approach at Hyundai is standard, eye-popping fuel economy for everyone. And to that end, today, we add a new game-changer to our product mix. It's a compact car with mid-size interior volume. It's actually got more room inside than a Nissan Maxima. It's a vehicle with the same fluidic sculpture design language that has worked so well for us on Sonata and Tucson. And perhaps most remarkable, standard, across the board, no extra charge, fuel economy ratings of 29 city, 40 highway. That's a 44.4 MPG cafe level right here in 2010. And doesn't that make that 50 MPG target we put out there for 2025 sound doable? Who can do this? Ladies and gentlemen, it's here right now, the all new 2011 Hyundai Elantra. Somebody once said, patience is a virtue. We can guarantee they didn't work for Hyundai. 
because the challenges of our times can't wait for another decade, and neither can we. Welcome to the future, a time when a car with mid-size interior roominess gets better than subcompact MPG, a time when the most appealing lines are also the most streamlined, a time when premium amenities don't come with a premium price tag. Welcome to the future of 2011. Introducing the all-new 40 MPG Hyundai Elantra. extra large because we didn't want the great design of the new Elantra to overshadow its remarkable fuel efficiency. Now to discuss what's inside that car, please welcome a colleague we're very happy to have back on the Hyundai team. He's our Vice President of Corporate and Product Planning. Welcome my good friend Mike O'Brien. Thanks John. It's great to be back. So, how big a deal is 40 MPG? Well, Elantra is the only vehicle in its class to make 40 MPG standard. While some cars are advertising 40 MPG, in reality, they only deliver it in a very small sub-segment of their total production. And apparently, those limited edition 40 MPG models come with an added price premium. With our all-new Elantra, 40 MPG comes standard in every single car at no extra charge. What makes this fact all the more impressive is Elantra is an officially a mid-sized car according to the EPA. So how did Hyundai make a mid-sized car with better fuel economy than Ford Fiesta subcompact and more interior room than a Nissan Maxima? We did it by changing everything. First, Elantra is built on an all-new platform that uses more high-strength steel for reduced weight, yet a 37% gain in structural rigidity. The vehicle's curb weight is just 2,661 pounds, an amazing 370 pounds lighter than another newcomer to the segment. How did we do this? Well, Hyundai's the only car maker with its own integrated steel manufacturing. Nearly 400 metallurgists and structural engineers are working together at Hyundai Steel's R&D Center to develop the precise steel alloys needed to reduce vehicle weight while maintaining rigidity and safety. This is a key component to our global effort to reduce vehicle weight by 10% across our model lineup. The next feat of engineering is Elantra's all new 1.8 liter engine. This power plant is 74 pounds lighter than its predecessor, yet its output has been raised to 148 horsepower, <coughs> giving Elantra class leading power to weight ratio. At the same time, it's cleaner earning the same PZEV rating enjoyed by the Prius Hybrid. The engine is linked to an all-new six-speed manual or an all-new six-speed automatic transmission. Many of our competitors only offer four five-speed automatics. Our world-class six-speed automatic was developed in-house, just like our six-speed in our larger front-drive cars. Whether it's developing our own steel alloys or our own transmission, Hyundai doesn't buy the concept of product parity. By going our own way, we know we can deliver greater value to our customers. And that's equally true when it comes to safety. Elantra comes with an impressive list of standard safety features. For example, four-wheel disc brakes with ABS and electronic brake force distribution, vehicle stability management, and dual body side reinforcement for the rear passenger doors. In every way, the all-new Elantra sets a new standard for its segment. And we haven't even addressed its boldest advance, 
a breakthrough design born right here in Southern California. And for more about that, please welcome our chief designer at the Hyundai Design Center in Irvine, California, Mr. Phil Zack. <laughs> All right, uh, last, year, uh, last year, we introduced our fluidic sculpture design language here in Los Angeles with the reveal of the 2010 Hyundai Sonata and the Tucson. With this language, we're exploring the idea of infinite curves, uh, fluidic shapes that flow around the vehicle without interruption to create a single sculptural form. It may seem uh, risky to apply such an expressive design to a mid-sized sedan and a family crossover, but as it turned out, it's exactly what the customers were waiting for. The all new Elantra extends this bold thinking to the compact segment. It shows that a car can be space efficient, deliver outstanding aerodynamic performance without being predictable in form. In fact, the Elantra has the best in-class coefficient of drag at just 0.28. In our view, many of the most successful sedans are notable for their unique silhouettes. In this look-alike segment, we were especially keen to give the Elantra an instantly recognizable profile. Our design team at Irvine created a sleek profile aligned with tension. Once the shape captures the eye, Elantra's dynamic surfaces draw you in. Its strong character lines are further accentuated by the premium details. Expressive wraparound headlamps and tail lamps, side repeaters in the mirrors, distinctive 17-inch alloy wheels, and you slide into the driver's seat and that character becomes even more pronounced. The interior has a sophisticated design that integrates a host of luxury class amenities, like a seven inch navigation screen with rear view camera, voice activated navigation, audio and phone commands with Bluetooth interface, the segment's first heated rear seats to go along with the heated seats up front, available leather, proximity key with push button start, and an impressive 360 watt audio system. As Mike mentioned, class above interior space is another hallmark of the all-new Elantra. Elantra customers <coughs> enjoy not only best-in-class legroom, but more interior space than you find in the Nissan Maxima or even the Volkswagen Passat CC. The all-new Elantra proves that affordable doesn't have to mean basic. And we think <coughs> this is the kind of passionate design compact buyers are hungry for. Now to talk about that affordability, once again, John Krafczyk. All right, thanks Phil. And we think the Hyundai Elantra could have an impact beyond the compact segment. First of all, Elantra erases so many of the barriers between segments. And think about it, it delivers mid-sized car roominess, premium sedan design and features, better than subcompact fuel economy, and an amazing, compact car price. This all new Elantra is priced at a remarkable $14,830. Now that's an amazing value. Well, thank you. I have to admit it, it, I have to admit it may have been the Hyundai dealers who started that applause, just to, just to be honest. According to the experts at Automotive Leasing Guy, these guys say it's also gonna be a lasting value. Just this morning, ALG presented Elantra with its best-in-class residual value award. They project that the all-new car, this Elantra, will hold 63% of its value after three years of ownership. Best in the compact segment. I'm pleased to tell you that the all-new Elantra is already in production at our plant in Montgomery, Alabama, and will begin shipping to our dealers before the end of the year. And with this third US-built model, our U.S. capacity will increase to 400,000 units. We think it's pretty good for a brand that just this year, for the first time, will break 500,000 total sales. So, you know, 2011, it's our 25th year in the U.S., but at Hyundai, our focus is forward. It's on the next 25 years. And we think Elantra is a clear example of Hyundai's emergence as a real leader in this industry. In fact, next year, we hope to put four models on the road that deliver at least 40 miles per gallon. And we believe that we'll sell 
will sell more 40 plus miles per gallon cars than any other brand next year. Maybe something about 200,000 of them. So in January, we encourage you to come see us at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. We'll have another groundbreaking vehicle that combines amazing fuel efficiency with a playful, fun to drive spirit. Now for those of you watching online, our post-game show will begin shortly. Uh, it's going to be led off by Dave Zakowski. You'll hear from Phil Zack and myself. For now, though, I'd like to invite all of you guys who are here. Come on down. Have a closer look at the all-new 2011 Elantra. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Appreciate it.